Hello and welcome to my Wanderlist, where we explore the most fascinating and awe-inspiring things. Today's video will count down the world's top 10 largest dog breeds. From gentle giants like the Great Dane to majestic breeds like the Tibetan Mastiff. These dogs make great companions and leave a lasting impression with their impressive size and unique characteristics. So, let's take a closer look at these amazing dogs that have captured the hearts of dog lovers worldwide. Number 10. Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a giant Japanese military dog from crossbreeding with Japanese and European breeds such as Mastiffs, Bull Terriers, St. Bernards and Great Danes. Tosa Inu be among the top 10 largest dog breeds in the world in 2023. Occasionally Tosa Inus are referred to as Japanese Mastiffs and canine sumo wrestlers. This rare dog's height at the willow can reach 32 inches, and its weight among non-Japanese breeders is between 130 and 200 pounds. In Japan, dogs of this breed are usually smaller and weigh less. Thanks to the crinkled foreheads and the sad brown eyes, Tosa Inus have quite cute faces, but bear in mind that they have been specifically bred for fighting. They are incredibly robust and muscular, and luckily they are not violent to the men. Tosa Inus are very affectionate and gentle with kids but will tend to protect them at all costs. If you choose to take a dog from this breed, make sure that you are ready to spend much time and effort teaching it and socializing it, but without being too strict because it can have the reverse effect and make the dog unpredictable and dangerous for family life. Compared to other giant breeds, they are easy to groom and have a longer life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. Number 9. Leonberger. The Leonberger is a St. Bernard's, Newfoundland's, and Pyrenean mountain dog crossbreed. The size of these canines, as you can imagine, is quite remarkable. They are great dogs for rescue work, herding, and swimming, even though they were bred as companion dogs. The male's average height is about 29.5 inches, while females tend to be about 27.5 inches. The weight of these dogs is 140 to 150 pounds. The Leonberger's coat is distinctive, sleek, water-resistant, and a pretty robust dog. It's smart, trustworthy, kind, and playful, making dogs great family pets from this breed. If you add a Leonberger to your family, you'll be prepared to deal with all that grooming and cleaning. Unfortunately, they have only seven years of relatively low life expectancy. But a dog from such a breed will add pure joy and love to your entire family for its relatively short life. Going for a stroll will also attract a lot of attention, so be prepared to be approached by strangers who want to pet it and take pictures. Number 8. Great Dane. The Great Dane is widely regarded as the giant breed of dogs, and while it is not the largest of dogs, 100 to 120 pounds, it is undoubtedly among the largest. The average Great Dane's height is about 28 to 30 inches, but it may be higher. In reality, a dog named Zeus from this breed still holds a record with a height of 44 inches as the tallest living dog. Unfortunately, like other giant dogs, the Great Dane's lifespan is only about 6 to 8 years, although some dogs may live up to 10 years or older. The Zeus mentioned Great Dane died in 2014 at the age of 5. From a hybrid between Irish Wolfhounds and English Mastiffs, they were born in Germany. These giant dogs are gentle to familiar people and other dogs and animals and are particularly good with children. After all, they are the pets of the Guardians, so they should not be taken lightly. Great Danes come in different colors, with the black and white Harlequin forms being the most impressive. These gentle giants are elegant and noble-like creatures requiring much attention, training, and love. But they are pleasant people, and in return, they will return all their affection and loyalty. Number 7. The Irish Wolfhound. One of the highest dog breeds is the Irish Wolfhound. This breed's average height for dogs is at least 34 inches but its weight would rarely exceed 120 pounds for males and 105 pounds for females. The breed was bred for the hunting and protection of wolves. This breed's first records are as early as 7000 BC. Irish wolfhounds may have different personalities but are often very individualistic and have unique quirks. At the same time, being aggressive or acting impulsively is unknown. Today, Irish wolfhounds are popular family dogs, known to be quite calm, simple, smart, and quiet. They have no territorial aggression problems with other dogs, yet they prefer to target other dogs because of their hunting experience. Irish wolfhounds are usually very friendly and easy to train with boys, but they are individualists trained to hunt alone and far from their owners. Number 6. Scottish Deerhound. The Scottish Deerhound is one of the world's oldest hunting breeds. It came from Scotland, where it was used to chase and hunt red deer. Due to its amazing speed, this strong and large dog can easily reach its prey with its long, big-boned legs and hound-like structure. With a height of up to 32 inches and a weight of up to 110 pounds, 
These dogs are quite tall for the guys. Scottish deerhounds look like greyhounds, but they look like coats. Their long tails hang down to the ground, and may have black or blue noses. The coat coloring can be in different color combinations, and on the legs and body, it is harsher and wiry, and on the head, belly, and chest, it is softer. Interestingly, the breed almost became instinct at one point in history when only aristocrats with high titles were allowed to own one. Luckily, the breed was successfully revived in the 18th and 19th centuries. Dogs of this great breed are loyal, gentle, loving, affectionate, very close to their families, and friendly to strangers. They are very good with children but should be kept away from other animals due to their strong hunting drives. One of the Scottish Deerhound's best features is that it barks very little, making it a beautiful quiet big dog suitable for a family pet. They need long walks but only exercise a little. Number 5. Neapolitan Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff is not as gigantic as the English Mastiff but still an enormous and famous dog breed. It has a ratio of 130 to 155 pounds. For male and a maximum of 140 pounds. For the female. A Neapolitan male Mastiff's average height is between 26 to 31 inches. These are easily recognizable by their characteristic facial wrinkles, as well as their body folds. Neapolitan Mastiffs are incredibly intelligent dogs who are highly protective of their family and home, making them superb guard dogs. Still, they can pose problems if they are not socialized and trained. These are less effective than alarms because they appear to be quiet and prefer to spy on possible intruders instead of barking. Surely these dogs are unsuitable for inexperienced dog owners as they need extensive socialization and training. The Neapolitan Mastiff's ancestor was the Roman Molossus dog. Today, this breed's dogs require personal love and attention and should not be left outdoors in isolation, as this can lead to destructive behavior. They can go well and still feel happy with just one long walk a day. They are loving and calm animals, making great pets for families with adult children. Number 4. Commodore. This eye-catching mop-like big dog you might have seen before. Originally born in Hungary, the Commodore protected property and domestic animals. Today the breed in its native country has been proclaimed a national treasure. Due to the distinctively long and mop-like corded fur, you can never mistake this breed for any other. Dogs can reach up to 31.5 inches from this fascinating large breed and weigh up to 130 pounds. Even though they are pleasant and peaceful inside, they are unsuitable for apartment life. But it's in their nature to guard and roam outdoors, especially at night, so you can get one of these dogs if you have a large backyard with a fence. Remember that they bark often and, if not properly socialized and conditioned, can be uncomfortable with strangers. Otherwise, Commodores are very friendly dogs, devoted to all family members, and careful with children and pets. Generally, like many other big guide dogs, the Commodore is not appropriate for dog experienced people. If you want it to remain healthy, it requires a lot of intensive training, socializing, regular daily exercise, and keeping out of trouble with human neighbors and animals. Number 3. Newfoundland. Unlike many other major canine breeds, the Newfoundland was raised as a fisherman working dog, not a guard dog. Such huge cute dogs were used to support fishermen on vessels, and could carry lines and networks and leap into the water to save people, or retrieve things that had fallen off the vessel. Newfoundland is an impressive, active water dog with a capacity of up to 200 pounds. There is no doubt that the Newfies are among the best canine swimmers. They are still being used in water search and rescue operations. These are highly intelligent, calm-natured dogs, usually black but also gray or brown. Due to their thick double fur, which is meant to keep them safe and warm even in cold waters, they look even bigger than they are. Newfoundlands love their families and are extremely gentle and compassionate of children, so some call them gentle giants or dog nannies. They require daily walks, exercise, and practice, and to keep them safe and healthy, it is best to ensure a place where they can enjoy an occasional swim. Number 2. English Mastiff. The English Mastiff is the most strong breed of dog. A whopping 343 lbs was weighed by the heaviest dog of this huge breed called Zorba. The average Mastiff at the shoulder and a weight of 130 to 220 pounds will reach a height of 27 to 30 inches. So, the English Mastiff is the definite winner if you're looking for the biggest dog breed in terms of mass. For this reason, it is important to be trained as a working dog in blood sports like baiting bulls, bears, and even lions, the size and weight of these animals. Back in the Roman Empire, when he conquered Britain, Caesar was so impressed by the Mastiff that he allegedly took back a few puppies, which were used in lion and gladiator battles. Unsurprisingly, this Mastiff is in the world's top 10 fattest dog breeds in 2023. Yet today, the great, big Mastiff is preferred as the pet and companion of a loving and gentle family. 
also often used as therapy dogs or dogs from this breed and for search and rescue, weight pulling, and tracking. It has a mellow, friendly, even-tempered disposition and is great for families with children who enjoy playing with their gigantic pet. It must be with its people, as long isolation can lead to destructive conduct and distress. Mastiffs will need daily walks and a lot of preparation and care if you want to feel happy with the whole family. Number 1. Caucasian Shepherd Dog. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog was bred as a guardian dog for the first time in the northern Caucasian region. It has a shoulder weight of up to 30 inches and a weight of up to 130 pounds. And that's all but a lap dog. This species of dog is the largest dog breed in the world in 2023. It's a tough, brave, self-confident, strong-boned, and sturdy dog whenever there's a danger. If not, it's a caring, gentle, kind dog that can get along with the whole family and other animals. For decades, Caucasian Shepherds have been used to defend property and livestock from predators, including bears, and other duties. They are primarily used today as watchdogs or pets. This breed has many variations. The mountain type with a long coat and the step type with a smaller body mass and a short coat are two of the most common. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is certainly not a breed for first-time dog owners because of its essence of always feeling the urge to protect his family. This takes very serious training and socialization to keep the dog from attacking other people because it protects you. When adequately trained to recognize that all household members are in the pack before it, the Caucasian Ovcharka will become a committed, loving, and loyal family member. Remember that it is exceptionally strong, so you should not allow the dog to be walked by children or the elderly. Thank you for watching our video on the world's top 10 largest dog breeds. We hope you enjoyed learning about these magnificent dogs that have left an indelible mark on the world with their size and beauty. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. And as always, stay tuned to my wonder list for more awe-inspiring content.